This debate doesn't change until somebody loses an election because they've been too associated with either the NRA or something like this. But do the events of the last six months create critical mass here at some point? I do think that this kind of this apparent contagion yes. uh, that we now have of these mass shootings is certainly it's raising the fear level and it's changing the background of the debate but is it going to actually change the votes that has yet to be demonstrated yeah, I thought that was a good way of putting it I do agree I think the background noise is changing a little to get Grassley look what I would say is Grassley Rubio Scott I agree with Ramesh Scott and Rubio that's about they went through pulse mm -hmm. now this they're, they're, they've buried a lot of people who have been uh, victims of gun violence, and it may just be lip service. Well, Chuck, what I that's pick, the beginning. What I pick up from talking to people, especially Republicans who I've been talking to today, because I think they're the ones with the responsibility here, what you're going to see is schools turning more into an armed camp. Rather than fewer guns, you're going to see more guns. I think that it's going to be a focus on safety in the schools, yeah. that everybody in the community is going to have to sign on to uh, including people who aren't going to want to necessarily, because it's going to result in more guns, more armed guards, more security, more more magnetometers, more more background checks, more guns, not fewer guns. And that was a line that came out of Republicans when they themselves were shot at at that baseball game. Remember yeah. that we Steve Scalise, last time I saw him, was still on a chair wheeling around the halls of, of Congress, and even him, someone who is suffering still with the with the with the consequences of gun violence, he has not moved that far. Um, and said that he would, they, they were essentially saved because the Capitol Police had their own guns. So even in their own experience, they say more guns is the way that kept me safe and it's the way forward. There are going to be parents, Ramesh, though, that are uncomfortable with armed camp schools. And what about the rights of those parents? We, we worry about the rights of hobbyists more than the rights of parents sometimes. There are, but, you know... These sorts of incidents can change public opinion on that kind of question, too. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing I'm, I've I had a couple meetings with various House Republicans today, and the thing that strikes me is it's not a question of their thinking we need to move on guns, but unfortunately we can't for political reasons. They don't think this is that is the right thing to do. They don't believe that it is a promising strategy for fighting these things. And actually, things like armed guards, metal detectors, arming teachers, even, they sincerely think that is a better way to go, not to mention focusing on mental health issues. And I'm not sure they're wrong about some of those things. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.